My name's Tate Ryan. I'm from Greeley, Nebraska, kind of a central part of Nebraska here. Me and my grandpa Andy run a small feedlot cow-calf operation and then 500 uh, row crop acres of corn, soybeans. Then we raise silage, a little bit of alfalfa for our cattle in our feed yard. I guess what really caught me was they had one of these machines out in a rock quarry and I could really see what it'd do out in the mud and always kind of looked at getting a solid rubber tire for our machine and uh, I really liked the combination and everything that was kind of about it. I, I can honestly say I didn't know what to expect when the tire showed up. I, I kind of bought them just basically kind of taking everybody's word for it and I mean I'd, I'd put that tire up against any other tire I've ever been around and, and as far as as far as support, I mean, I think second to none. You know, you never know what you're going to run into out here. Flat tires were inevitable. Mon cement a lot, so I was wearing the tread down all the time. And in fact, I actually ran uh, chains on the back of the machine 365 days out of the year. And in the winter time, like now, I'd chain up the front too. I have not thrown a set of chains on that machine since I got it. I have not had the need to. Yeah, well, it gets really muddy here. In fact, we're actually nicknamed Mud River Cattle Company for that reason. Uh, but I, like I said, overall, right at the beginning was literally driving from the shop up to the silage pile up here made a world of difference. Before, even with new tires, I'd have had to have a chain or something on them. Early spring, you know, frost goes out of the ground and it's a bottomless pit. And I mean, that thing digs and it, and it goes. And another thing, it don't just dig itself it don't just dig itself into a hole. I mean, it, it paddles its way along and really, really goes. I've had several times where in muddy cow yards, I will have the, the belly dragon of this machine and I'm still flinging, flinging mud moving. I mean, that's pretty darn impressive. The rubber that's on this, it's, it's hard, it's durable, it lasts. I'm on cement almost every day with it in them cow yards and don't have I don't, it doesn't hardly look like they wore at all. And I've had them, you know, just about 10 months. So I'm pretty happy with them. 